automatic transmissions are better than manuals. Say what? Now before you go ahead and smash that dislike button like I know you're going to do, I want you to hear me out. Now this is not a debate on whether you should choose automatics versus manuals in every single situation. This is strictly talking about the Dodge Challenger and why an automatic is probably the best decision you can make for this automobile. Now, I already know I am gonna get a ton of hate and dislikes on this video just because I'm bringing this topic up for discussion. But I'm not here to compare automatic transmissions versus manuals. I'm here solely to talk about the Dodge Challenger and the eight reasons why you should purchase an automatic transmission in your Dodge Challenger. Now, to give you some backstory, when I was shopping for this car about a year ago, I was actually looking for the manual transmission. I didn't even think about getting an automatic. The reason that I wanted a manual is the reason that anybody wants a manual transmission. It's simply funner to drive and it's more retro and there's not very many out there. I mean, there's definitely a romantic feeling when you look for a manual transmission because it's a feeling you'll never get in an automatic. I will be the first to acknowledge that that is true. But when I was searching for a manual transmission, I wasn't able to find one in the color and the trim that I wanted, so I had to settle with an automatic. The reason I'm telling you this is because I'm giving you my opinion after owning this car for a year with an automatic transmission and not really looking back and regretting that I didn't get a manual transmission over this automatic. The automatic in this car is fantastic and I'm gonna discuss the eight reasons why you should choose it over the manual transmission. Starting with reason number one, the automatic transmission is quicker than the manual. Hands down, there's no debate. The automatic transmission, the ZF8 speed is a lot quicker than any human being can shift um, in a manual transmission. That's just a fact, you can look it up. Gone are the days where manual transmissions are quicker than automatics because you know a person could shift a lot quicker. A lot of these you know, sports cars and these hyper cars, they're having automatic transmission or dual clutches um, with paddle shifters because it's quicker than you know manually having to shift gears and put the clutch in. I mean, that's kind of a long process whereas the automatic just instantly shifts gears. Further evidence of this is the fact that the Dodge Demon only came in an automatic transmission. You couldn't get a manual because when you take it to the track, the manual transmission would be a lot slower than the automatic. You couldn't get a zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds or you know quarter mile of like 10 seconds or something like that. You couldn't get that in the manual with the power plant that came with the Dodge Demon as you could with the automatic transmission. Now, not only is it quicker, but number two, it's also more fuel efficient. I will also say gone are the days where the manual transmission was more efficient than the automatic because of a lot of technology and new enhancements that they've introduced into automatic transmissions. They are now a lot more fuel efficient than their manual counterparts. A big reason for this is just how many gears they have. Now you're getting eight to 10 speed transmissions uh, where you know typically manual transmissions are still six speed. A lot of that fuel efficiency is gained in those higher gears because uh, you know the way that the gear ratio is structured, you're naturally getting more fuel efficiency on those highway speeds than you would with a manual transmission. The third reason, which is kind of related to reason number two, is the automatic transmission in the Challenger comes with cylinder deactivation. You can't get this in the manual mode because you know, you're know you constantly shifting gears, whereas in the automatic, when you reach a certain speed or you're in a certain RPM range, I don't know what the exact formula is, the car will actually shut off four of its cylinders and it'll show you on the screen that it's deactivated those cylinders and it's operating in four cylinder mode. You'll never really notice that it's in four cylinder mode unless you're 
really getting on the gas and you can tell that it somehow like shifts or makes some sort of noise and that's not transmission related that's just the uh, engine activating those remaining four cylinders to get you as much power as you need to accelerate or you know whatever have you so it's never really in the way it's not like the start stop engine technology that some people complain about that will you know kind of jerk you when you're at a stoplight this is a little bit different actually at a stoplight it keeps the eight cylinders on it's usually when you're coasting or you're in like a cruise control or something like that on the freeway is when it'll shut off those uh, eight cylinders and turn it on to four like right now I'm in a back road around 35 miles an hour and it's got four cylinders on I'm barely touching the gas pedal and so it's conserving fuel which is something you cannot get in the manual transmission so aside from fuel efficiency four cylinder mode and the quicker shifts what else do you get with an automatic transmission? Well, that is a very good question you ask because that's the next thing on my list. Remote start stop. That is a feature on your key fob that you can click twice and from a distance away from the car, you can turn on the car without actually having the key inside the vehicle. Remote start stop. You've probably heard of it on a variety of different new vehicles, but it's a really nice feature to have because it will also cool down or heat up the vehicle um, depending on what the exterior temperature is. Uh, so in the winter days here in Utah, it's really nice to have remote start stop because I can be sitting at home and turn this car on from my garage and it's gonna heat up to 72 degrees and turn on the heated steering wheel and the heated seats while I'm sitting there watching TV and eating breakfast. This is one of the best features I think that this car comes with if you get the automatic transmission. And so you can't really get this feature out of the manufacturer to have remote start stop on the manual transmission, but they throw it in on the automatic. And I gotta say, this was probably one of the biggest reasons why I chose the automatic uh, when I did about a year ago was because this is a really nice feature to have and I've always wanted it in a vehicle. And it's really cool because it works winter or summer. So if remote start stop is really important for you because a lot of new cars these days come with that option, I would definitely recommend going for the automatic transmission because you can't really get it out of the factory in the manual. Now the fifth reason why you should get an automatic transmission in the Dodge Challenger is because it's simply more daily drivable. Uh, if this is gonna be your daily driver, and I've made a video about this in the past um, on the several reasons why you should daily drive this car, um, I'll link it in the description below, but you can find it in my videos. I made it about six months ago. Uh, really good video, not self-promoting. But you can check out that video why I talk about why the Challenger is a very daily drivable car. So if this car happens to be your daily driver and you're driving it in traffic and uh, you know stop and go all the time and you're having to uh, accelerate and brake all the time, a manual transmission might get a little bit annoying for you. And so an automatic is nice because you simply put it into gear and you can go about your day without having to constantly shift gears and worry about putting the clutch in and yeah, especially if you work legs a lot, it's very nice to have an automatic transmission. So the fifth reason why you should get an automatic transmission is because it's simply more daily drivable. Uh, this goes across the board on every single manual transmission. I don't think there's a single one out there that uh, is better to daily drive than an automatic. Now, for the sixth reason, I'm gonna have to roll down the windows. Now, I hope that you heard that sound, boys and girls, because that is a glorious sound. I love the sound that the exhaust makes when you're shifting gears. I mean, the, the little burble that you get, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, but that little sound is so intoxicating when you're accelerating, and I haven't heard it quite as loud in a manual transmission. Uh, the automatic somehow is able to get that sound a little bit louder, at least in my opinion. If you have a different experience with a manual, definitely let me know. But in the automatic transmission, that sound when you shift gears is just so glorious that you want to continue shifting gears over and over, and then you can quickly get up to dangerous speeds at that point. So if uh, that sound is very important to you, I would definitely look into getting an automatic transmission because I haven't been able to hear that type of sound in a manual.
Now, the seventh reason why you should choose an automatic over a manual is because typically the components are a little bit more reliable. Now, this really pertains to the clutch because those tend to go out first in any manual transmission. If you're buying a used Challenger, I would recommend an automatic because you never know how the previous owner handled that clutch. If they went hard on it, if they shifted at bad points, and you just never know how the person treated the car. That's one of the reasons why I prefer the automatic is because generally they're more reliable than manuals given the clutch sometimes goes out on manual transmissions. And of course you can find many different studies online showing that manuals are more reliable because the construction is a lot simpler than an automatic and I'm not here to argue against facts but there is evidence out there that because clutches can go out pretty often um, you're more inclined to have a little bit better reliability with the automatic transmission versus the manual transmission. Now the last reason, the eighth reason why you should choose an automatic over a manual is because you still get a lot of the benefits of owning a manual transmission with really none of the downside. If you actually look at the ZF transmission that you have in your Challenger, you can throw it into manual mode by just simply pushing it to the left. So it's a little bit more manipulation when it comes to this automatic transmission because I can use the paddle shifters and have fun with it when I'm accelerating on the freeway. Um, and you know, let's say I'm not very good at, at shifting gears, it's gonna shift for me when it reaches the red line. That's the nice thing about using the paddle shifters. However, if you throw it into the manual mode and you try shifting, it's not gonna shift for you if you're hitting 80 miles an hour in second gear. It's gonna stay in red line at 80 miles an hour in second gear. It's got that a little bit of uh, you know customization that if you are a manual driver, and you know how to use a manual transmission, you can use this car like a manual and it's not gonna shift for you. It's gonna wait until you hit that button on the steering wheel to shift gears. However, if you're someone who's maybe not as experienced with a manual transmission and you just wanna have a little bit of fun as you're accelerating on the freeway, you've also got that option where you can shift gears and then, you know, let's say you make a mistake and you try to shift down into second gear at 80 miles an hour, the transmission won't let you. And uh, you know, if you're approaching 80 miles an hour in second gear, it's gonna shift for you. So you've got two options of uh, having a manual transmission while at the same time having an automatic that's got quicker shifts, more fuel efficiency, and just all around provides a little bit more options than you would with a standard manual transmission. All right, well, there you have it, folks. Those are the eight reasons why you should choose an automatic transmission over a manual if you're picking the Dodge Challenger. Overall, you've got quicker shifts, it's more fuel efficient, you have four cylinder mode, you've got my favorite remote start stop feature, which is probably my number one reason why you should choose an automatic over a manual with this car. It's more daily drivable, the sound when you're shifting gears is amazing and glorious. It's generally more reliable than the manual. And at the same time, you have a lot of the same features that you would get with a manual transmission using the paddle shifters and the gear lever. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the eight reasons why you should choose an automatic transmission. I'm thankful for all of you that have an open mind and have stayed to watch this video to the end and haven't immediately hit the dislike button in the first 10 seconds of the video. But I hope this provided some new information and maybe pushed you towards one transmission over the other. Everything that I said today is not important for you, then definitely I recommend you go for the manual transmission. But if any of the features I mentioned today are useful for you, then I'd recommend going for the automatic. You won't be disappointed. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to find me on Instagram at Schwazy underscore. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I will catch you all in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.